All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Texas 2A video yet again. Uh, this one, not going to be a whole lot of shooting or anything. Going to be no shooting because, you know, I'm at my property on my backyard. That's, you know, it's not happening. But, got a box full of goodies come in, and I'd like to cover that. Oh, I'm getting ate up by mosquitoes out here. Uh, the PSA Custom line. Uh, I've got plenty of their parts now. Uh, originally, I got some stuff like this that I never got to show off. This is their extended mag release for the AR-9. Uh, this is their Gen 3 lower and it fits just fine. This is the one that you see me cover as the TACOM feed ramp installed, but this is the one I decided to throw in there uh, for this mag release because this is kind of my go-to, you know, if I wanted to answer what goes bump in the night. I've got my light, you know, I've got backup irons. It's going to be a little laser on it, whatever. It's just something where if I had to use it indoors, I'd be able to keep my hearing. But, I mean, this thing, it, it works so much better than the composite unit that comes on it. Composite works, but this is, uh, it's very nice. I mean, if you have AR-9 and, and you know that the compatibility is there for this thing, I suggest it because, I mean, it, it just rocks. It works. I have a, you know, I need to get two more from my other two. But, that's just one of the many. Uh, I've got their... I've got a the, the go Yeet Cannon lower here that showed up. Uh, this is going to be one of my next little deals I'm putting together. Uh, these parts are going to go on this. Uh, I got the you know lightweight trigger guard. That's uh, nothing spectacular, but it is you know nice little chunk of aluminum, not a uh, plastic mag pool or anything. And I did get the I never I never had a the four piece roll pin you know set never had that so now I've got one instead of just making stuff work you know because I just I've got a bunch of tools I build cars so this type of crap I have is you know enough stuff to make things happen this is an ambi uh, safety uh, short long so that is going to be going on the can lower uh, I do have this uh, it's a billet charge and handle latch this I'm going to use it on one of my mil spec little regular old charging handles and see how I like it. But the heat can lower the upper is gonna probably get something just aftermarket. Something that I know is a little sturdier for sure. But a uh, little hand stop. This is a little micro hand stop that they have. It's sweet and simple. Definitely gonna be putting that on there uh, for the upper. Uh, 750 adjustable gas block. You know, it's uh, stainless steel. Good stuff. Uh, you know, I'm sure it works just as well as any, but this is just different stuff of theirs. I'm trying it out. That way I can see. If I don't like it, I can let you guys know. But you're probably not going to get a complaint out of me. Uh, Anti-walk pins. I have Elfman trigger on the way for this thing. Uh, same anti-walk pins that I've already got in the PSA 3.5 pound trigger that is phenomenal. It's currently my favorite trigger. The uh, Elfman will have some pretty big shoes to fill if it wants to bump it out. Titanium firing pin. Uh, whatever bolt I end up with, that's going to end up going in there just for, you know, Make sure it's even more reliable than it probably already will be. But some of the key features that people like to see is optics. This little guy here, if you've been watching some of my videos, I've run this on a couple of the AR9s playing around, and they're pretty violent. They jump around. I guess they're, you know, you say they're over, over uh, run pretty hard with the uh, lack of some of the heavier buffers I don't run in them. Uh, it allows me to get that high speed semi auto, uh, what do you call it, the simulated auto fire my burst that I do in the video that's because that thing's moving around a lot I had a good trigger like to drop in PSA it works this has been on at least two of those and I've also run it on what did I run it on 760 by 39 AR as well all these things kick really hard uh, this this little red dot man 100 bucks 99 dollars it's as competitive as anything else out there for the price range your hollow sun your Sig Romeo, all that stuff, uh, it does have the on-off between each brightness setting. So I can go from, like right now, I've got it between 5 and 6. I can go outside, whatever you know, we're going to do. Go to 5 or 6, I'm going to be at a medium setting. And I'm usually good there. I mean, this thing, at you know, right now during the daytime, I'll put it on 5 instead of 6. And it's broad daylight outside. I draw up, and uh, my, my red dot is fine. I mean, I can see it. So there's no reason for me to change that. And I don't have to do, like... Some optics you have to spin all the way back around to zero, or you know, some of them might go, you know, zero to one power, zero to nine, vice versa. Well, like I said, with this, I'm always in the middle all the time with any of these that have a rotary dial. Same thing. So 
that has been a superb optic. Uh, like I said, hollow suns and all that, they're all going to have their quirks. Uh, this, I like being able to go on off just quick and simple. It's not going to have your auto off feature like some of the hollow suns do that have the shake and wake feature. That's proven reliable to me. I uh, accidentally left my red dot on, boom, just like that. I'll go to pick it up later. I'm like, oh, damn, thing's on, you know. Oops, it happens, you know, come on. You're not in the gun game if you ain't killing batteries on these things accidentally. So there's ups and downs to any of them. I don't like having the same dang optic on everything. I've got three hollow suns. I got tired of buying them. Uh, I've got a couple Vortex red dot, you know, I've got the Vortex uh, Spitfire, uh, Spitfire 2, something like that. I just bought their Diamondback, uh, the 14 power op, uh, scope. Love it. I tried to put it on this rifle right here that you recently saw me doing some accuracy testing with and I liked it, but it sat so low I couldn't even use this pad here. I had to take the pad off to get down low enough. This, I'm trying this guy now. This is the PSA three and a half pound drop in trigger that you've seen me talk about and play with. I love this damn trigger. Uh, I try to remain unbiased as I, as I can on this stuff because Palmetto doesn't pay me. Nobody pays me jack. I do this because I enjoy it. I do it because guys are like, hey man, thanks for going out there and spending a bunch of damn money on all this crap and wasting a bunch of ammo so I can say, hey man, live vicariously through this guy and decide if I want to waste the money and might not like something. If I don't like it, I'm going to tell you. You know, I have no reason to not say, yeah, this is junk. Like, <laughs> you saw me talking about the 223 Wild. I expect it to be junk. That thing there from Primary Arms, that Radical Firearms made, it moved all over the place. Now it's got me curious to see, okay, how much will my other stainless barrels walk? Is it going to be an issue with their cheaper stuff or is it a stainless barrel issue? Like, I think I've researched and, and found that as being said could be completely wrong but this one right here i'm loving this it holds very tight but this is actually elevated with this this is their one to six this thing here yeah it's not exactly a hundred dollar little cheap red dot but uh it's elevated enough where i put my my cheek riser back on uh i can say that the son of a bitch dude is clear man one power is one power i've heard uh, i've been wanting one of these a one to six from uh from Vortex, uh, Strike Eagle or something like that, you know, I'm trying to remember what it was. Mosquitoes are getting on me, sorry. Uh, they were trying to tear me up, but I've been wanting one like that, and so far, every time I go to uh, pull the trigger on it, I'm not, uh, you know, just not there. I always got something else, I'm like, well, I need this a little bit more. I'm not, you know, not made out of money, so pick and choose. Saw this uh, after saw guys talking about the Vortex Strike Eagle not being a true one power whenever you're, you're zoomed all the way out. And so I'm like, all right, first thing I do is I get this thing and I'm playing with it. And I mean, it's one X is one X. I'm getting no magnification right there. And it's six power. It is just crystal clear as any of my Vortex. Uh, I've always run the Vortex stuff and Nikon. So, I mean, I don't have a, a, I've probably used some other people's Leopold playing around, but I mean, the reticle on this is just gorgeous. I like it. Circle with a dot. It's got a uh, mill dot drop downs for uh, your different ranges. It does come with a card that I left in the house, so I cannot show that on the uh, camera right now. But uh, it's 275 before you add the, the coupon that's on there. You can uh, see it's clearly there. It tells you enter whatever it says on that, that site. I can pull it up if I needed to. Uh, but uh, you know, while that code's available, yeah, you can get it for cheaper than, than what they're advertising, I believe. Uh, but it does come with this actual attachment. It is a QD mount. As you can see, and it came. I did not have to adjust this thing. I literally slapped this on, rocked them over, and it was firm but not too tight. Usually on my QD stuff I play with, I have to adjust it uh, usually out. It's usually all way too tight. It does come with your covers, front and rear. That, you know, I don't know about you, but like that just happened. Every freaking cover I have that's similar to this, they pop off really easy every freaking time. You know, it's life. I guess they're really not designed for any type of serious use and abuse while you're running around in the jungles of Nam, right? But uh, it is, uh, it is uh, amplified with your red. And the red in broad daylight here, looking up to the trees, it, it's a little hard to see. But, uh, you know, it's, it's still daylight here in Texas, very much so. But anytime I get to anything that's a little darker, it starts, uh, definitely gets clear. It's a nice ruby red, it's real, real pretty. Real cluster that uh, Chris, that's on 11 power. Uh, so 11 power, middle daylight. Yeah, it doesn't do a massive freaking job, but uh, man, I was like curious. I was like, I put that uh, that 14 power on here, and then went and shot, and 
you know, I'm going to try it again with something heavier, but my best, uh, you know, I could be lying. I have to go look at my own video, but I want to say the best group I got of this is like inch and a quarter. I'm sure some custom hand loads and whatever excuse you want to make for tightening up groups will be better. But this thing ain't exactly out of trying seven different ammos. And yeah, I was back to back to back. I was not letting this thing cool off, whatever. So I didn't pull no real super tight groups, whether it be because of that, you know, being hot. Uh, because it wasn't that right ammo because I suck as a shooter and I'm not you know I pulled MOA I pulled point eighty MOA on a 308 uh, you know different rifle you know I don't consider myself some master marksman you know I'm just out here enjoying myself having fun average guy like the average viewer I'm expecting to look at me going yeah you know that guy's about like me you know now some of you pros out there are like <laughs> make that guy look like it and know what he's doing you know you guys are awesome you know I would like to aspire to be as good as y'all one day but average guy talking here, uh, you know, this this is probably the permanent home for this thing is going to be on this right here because it, it just looks phenomenal. The stupid, uh, you know, $70 or $80 or whatever this cheap riser was uh, works perfect with it. I love the way everything looks. I mean, it's got my little brake on there already put on there, little hand stop. Some of y'all might say that's backwards. That's how I wanted it. So whatever. But uh, yeah, I'm very enthusiastic about the way this is sitting right now. Uh, can't remember weight. I was going to bring the box out so you got all the juicy details so I wouldn't have to look it up if you wanted to. But this is just, I'm loving it. Uh, I've got, you know, like I said, the PSA three and a half pound triggers in here. I've got this optic in here now. Now I'm excited. want to go, you know, side it in, see how it does. Uh, but it's just clear with this cheek riser. I mean, I'm, I'm laying into it just right. Uh, once I'm laying over and I'm, I'm pulling in tight, everything's where I need it. So this is probably going to be his permanent home. Uh, can't wait to go try it. Uh, if you guys want to see me on film shooting this uh, with this optic and let you know if it acts funny or not, you know, because if it screws up, I'll let you know. Uh, but uh, everything on it adjustment wise is half MOA on the clicks. So, you know, windage and elevation, they're not full MOA, they're half. Uh, I know some of your longer range stuff will be quarter MOA, you know, maybe even finer depending on how much money you spend. This is a one to six, so half MOA adjustment for me with a one to six is phenomenal. Uh, I would like to get this dialed in at 100, see how it does. It does carry a little high, so at 100, it'll look pretty dang good. But, of course, as you get closer, you know, it's not going to be shooting right on target within 25 yards. But that's fine. You know, it just depends on what your designated roll is for any of this stuff. This is their cold hammer forged 18 and a half inch 223 wild variant. And, like I said, I am very pleased with how clear this thing is. You know everything on the way it looks i've been wanting something like this you know this is exactly what i've been looking for you know and i was you now i've been using vortex forever you know as far as using their stuff i've always loved it and their strike equal a couple times i almost added that thing to cart and bought it and i ended up going those stuff like a you know i went with the spitfire 2 i believe it was you know three and a half power i love that thing that thing is moa like clear as radical as it gets uh this this looks just as good to me uh, I have stigmatism in the left eye, so for you guys that want to know what does it do, I will pull up like a lefty because it's not normally something I do. And let's see, the thing is, yeah, doesn't look bad. I can tell that my stigmatism is being funny with me, and the right side's not stigmatism, and it looks great. It looks better through my glasses but there's adjustment in life for things like that, like contact lenses and glasses. So, screw up on. All right, I'm, at, I'm clear as can be, really clear, really pretty, really concise. I'm gonna go back to the left side and, uh, you know, with my glasses on, everything's pretty again. So, yeah, if you have corrective lenses, it's gonna be prettier with that. It's just off the top, you know. Some of you guys are like me and have four eyes and you wanna know. You know, hey man, is this thing gonna be a piece of crap? It's cool to give you all a review on stuff like this um, with the stigmatism in one eye. You know, I'm like half broken, right? <laughs> uh, the red dot, I love it. I uh, always, I don't shoot left side enough. I do it with my handguns, but this thing here, you know, I put my glasses on, and I can tell you, yeah, I've got a little bit of a starburst right eye. It's it's real clear, and with my glasses off, uh, it's still pretty nice. I mean, it's a little blurry just because my vision sucks. But I go to the left eye and oh my god, it's it took forever for me having guys talking about, yeah man, I'm a you know, how's this and that, you know, mentioning stigmatism. 
finally, like I think it was just ended last year, I finally was like, you know what, let me try it with my left eye, see what that looks like, uh, make sure I'm not just uh, completely missing what they're talking about. Now I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. So something like this, it's going to work real well because this uh, one to six, you know, it's glass, uh, you know, it's etched, op or, you know, whatever your reticle is in there, uh, like the prisms, it's fixated, it's not a red dot, the red dot with the reflection uh, stigmatism is a problem so stick with something like this go with your uh, your prism setups like primary arms uh, I know you have uh, what is it Trigicon you know stuff like that you have the fixed that are etched glass I believe even lucid optics is supposed to be decent stuff I know they're not exactly a hundred dollar optic it's supposed to be 350 to 400 for the, like P7 or one of those models that's you know it's a uh, four power uh, so stuff like that for you guys, you know, that's off topic, but I know some of you guys are concerned about that. There are a lot of us out there that need corrective lenses, and we do concern ourselves with this stuff. But, jack my jaw about this stuff. I mean, all this stuff looks great. I imagine, I don't see this thing being a problem. Uh, like the red dot, you know, you see right there, Palmetto State Armory, that's the Rattan logo. I don't know who makes this, but Rattan... This same one, I could not find this for less than like $169. And you can get it right now through Palmetto State Armory for $99. So you've got something just as good as that because, let's be honest, it's who it is. This, I have zero clue who makes this. I have not looked into it. All I know is that it's clear. It's pretty. I know some of their stuff looks like it might be from Lucid. And Lucid, I have not read nothing bad about those guys. So if that's who they're stamping their stuff on, I don't know. But they're not picking somebody like China, you know, China No Name brand stuff clearly because... I'm not going to get that red dot to act funny, plus it's got the Rattan logo on it, so I know that's who it is. Uh, a lot of the loose stuff's made uh, statewide, but some of their stuff, you know, they even say on their website, keep costs down, some of their stuff is built, uh, I'm sorry, some of the parts are made there, but I think it's assembled in the United States, whatever. So, how true that is with this, I have no idea who makes this one, but, you know, <sighs> Palmetto, Chad and those guys, they're not wanting to just slap their name on anything. So they're doing damn good on me, you know, I mean, I have no complaints. So, you know, I uh, will probably follow up. Let me get all this crap installed on this lower, whenever I get my lower parts kit in. And I can do a follow-up video if that's something you want to see what it looks like all, you know, fancied out on an actual system. And I uh, will probably use the, you know, charge handle setup and all that just, just for looks. So y'all can see what it all looks like installed on one, just if you're curious. Give you my impressions of what it actually feels like, you know, as, I, as far as operation goes. Uh, but that'll be the next week or so. I've got some other parts coming in for that, plus the, the upper. You know, Palmetto's uh, shipping isn't all that sometimes, so I don't know when my upper will be here. It's 14 and a half inch uh, pin and weld it. I'm gonna put a different brake on there and re-weld it up, so I'm still legal 16 inches. Uh, but, you know, like I said, uh, hopefully this is informative for you guys that are curious about some of their stuff. I mean, a lot of people are like, oh, well, for that price, I'll just go buy such and such. <sighs> go do it, man, you know? I ain't mad at you. You ain't gonna buy a damn thing from Palmetto if you don't want to. I don't. I don't care. Uh, but I like their stuff. I use the hell out of it. And like I said, I, they've not given me a reason to complain. Uh, those guys treat me well. Whenever I, you know, have a question, they get back to me. If I, I can tell you, out of all the uppers and lowers I've had, I think I had one of my 762 by 39s out of the seven of those that I've bought from those. I just didn't want to uh, skip over the back of the round when I chamber it. And uh, you know, I just out with them they said send it back they sent me another one i think within two weeks i think maybe i had another one put it back in the rifle went and shot it perfect flawless whatever no questions asked those guys honored their warranty without any hesitation for me uh you know uh they will see and uh chad has came out and even said some of the price hikes you're seeing on any of their parts uh is going to be because of people complaining about things like uh you know, loose hand guards, and uh, they are also, yeah, the, the AR-15 stuff now is supposed to be Generation 2, so there's improvements there, double stake uh, castle nuts, uh, you know, they're putting set screws for the hand guards to, you know, additional safety to keep that stuff from walking forward, so, you know, they, they've constantly gotten better in my eyes, and now they're sitting there straight up saying, yeah, your price increase, although you didn't, some people might not like it, spending an extra little bit of money. Uh, it's going a long way as far as what I can tell, so they're just going to keep on doing what they do. I'm going to keep buying the shit out of their stuff because I enjoy it. I like it. Like I said, they're, they're good people to me. I look forward to one day to possibly get to meet some of them and shake their hands. But, uh, you know, hopefully you guys like the video. Uh, you know, it's a bunch of little stupid random miscellaneous things. 
well my camera decided to cut out on me so I'm back again don't remember where I stopped that but like I said if you like any of these little uh, random miscellaneous things you want to see them on film you let me know uh, I can review it I'll put everything together and uh, all these lowers so you can eyeball everything get a grasp of what it looks like and uh, you know give you my impressions on it uh, you know let you know if uh, any of it's rough or doesn't fit right or whatever you know I'll get to that point once I get there but uh, if you guys are uh, enjoying what you're seeing, I know some of you, uh, you know, someone pointed out to me the other day, hey man, uh, you should probably uh, do an Instagram for those guys that want to follow and see that stuff. So text to a video on Instagram, check it out, you know, if you like something, uh, don't be scared to message me or whatever. Put a comment, hey man, can I see a picture of this rifle by itself or some of these details because I don't even think about it, much less assume I can get all that stuff on one of these uh, videos, especially until I get caught up with a, a decent camera that lets me edit, you know, and actually get you just pictures in there while I'm jacking my jaw and stuff. So yeah, alright, so yeah, get on there, like, follow, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Uh, but hopefully it's informative, I will follow up on this stuff whenever I can, once it's together. Hopefully I can go film Monday, I have no idea. Uh, I know I've got some plans this weekend, but Monday is usually my, my film day, and uh, you guys should be able to see me on the flip side. Hope you boys and girls enjoyed what you see. I will catch you on the flip side of, we'll see, Tuesday, Wednesday maybe. Hopefully I have some more video by then. All right, see you all later.